Well, happy Wednesday morning. This is Pastor Jay, and I'm out here in the hallway right outside the sanctuary where there are a series of posters that you can see behind me. And on the posters, it says, Choose Community. And one of the great blessings of being uh, in the church is that we have all these friends, all of these brothers and sisters in Christ who, as you can see in the picture, they sing with us and they do crafts with us. Uh, and they, they enjoy fellowship with us. I can't wait for the day when we can get back to that and, and sing together and, and be together around a table for a meal. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, the reason I'm here is because I'm looking at the very end of the Lord's Prayer, and it's something called the doxology. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Oh, man. Now, you may realize, maybe you don't realize this, uh, that part of the prayer is not in the Bible. Uh, it's not what uh, Jesus teaches his disciples to say, but it's an ending uh, that has been added on, and it basically is a blessing. And, and what Martin Luther talks about is he talks about what the word amen means. Now, interestingly enough, the word amen comes from the Hebrew for truth or certainty. So let's hear what Martin Luther has to say about it. He says, what is this? What does this mean? that I should be certain that such petitions are acceptable and heard by my Father in heaven. For God himself commanded us to pray like this and has promised to hear us. Amen means yes, it is going to come about just like this. In other words, certainty uh, from the Hebrew. So uh, that's something when we get done with the Lord's Prayer, we say yes, uh, that's what's going to happen. Amen. So let's have a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you give us this prayer, a prayer taught to us by Jesus himself, a prayer that shapes our lives and that's pleasing to you. Lord, bless us through this prayer so that we can be a blessing to others. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, have a good Wednesday and a good week.